Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. It is book list Thursday. So excited for today. Book list Thursday is something I do with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of book thoughts, recommendations, ideas, something bookish related. Today's topic is super fun. Um, I don't remember if it came from a subscriber. It might have. But I'm going to talk about books that are really great to read if you're trying out a new genre. So kind of a good introdu introduction to a genre you may not have read before. So I've got actually quite a few options here that I'll go over. Some are give I'm giving you multiple options, some are not, but we'll just get started. So the first one, and the one I probably talk to the most to people, is nonfiction. Um, nonfiction kind of can encompass memoirs or historical events. It, it can be a little overwhelming. There's a lot of options within the nonfiction, nonfiction realm. So I'm going to focus kind of on a memoir for this example. Um, my overall advice to people who are trying out nonfiction for the first time is to definitely go with an audiobook first. That is how I have found that I enjoy them a lot more. Um, I don't know why it's different, but it is for me. So I definitely suggest that for you if you're giving nonfiction a whirl. Um, for your kind of first introduction to the nonfiction world, I would definitely suggest a memoir because it reads more like fiction. It reads more like a story. So it's going to be a little bit easier to kind of comprehend and give you a little bit of familiar territory, right? So my first suggestion definitely is Educated by Tara Westover. Um, this talks about Tara's life. She grew up kind of off the grid um, with a father who she believes was, non was um, bipolar very interesting childhood. She never went to school. She was homeschooled um, and eventually made her way to college and eventually actually got into um, Harvard. Right? Yes, Harvard. Sometimes I confuse things. But um, really, really great story. Um, there's a little controversy around because these this is Tara's memory of growing up and some of her brothers have said that's not totally how it happened, but that's how a memoir is. It's how she remembers things happen. Um, but definitely pick this up. It reads like a nonfiction. There's a lot of stuff that happens. It should will definitely keep your interest. Um, and I've heard the audiobook is also really, really great. So there's my first first suggestion. Um, the next one, and I don't know if it's really a full genre, but it's, I guess, kind of a type of book, is if you want to start reading, you know, you're into contemporary, but maybe you want to start reading some more controversial topics or um, stories that make you really think or really make you kind of question things. And Jodi Picoult is the queen of doing that for you. All of her books tend to gravitate or kind of circle around some sort of controversial topic. And she shows you all sides. And this woman does her research. And majority of the time when I am done reading a book, I'm really thinking, okay, did what I thought I believed, is that really right? Did I even consider this option? Did I even consider looking into this? It really makes you think. So if you're looking for a book that kind of gets the wheels turning, maybe you're looking for a really good book club book to have some discussions about, check out Jodi's books. Um, I happened to just pick up 19 Minutes. This is a story about a school shooting. And again, Jodi, sh Jodi shares all sides. So you get it from the students, of course, who are the victims to the people who are doing this part of the school shooting to the parents. You you see it all and you definitely, you, you think. It makes you think. She's great at that. So highly suggest, honestly, just about any Jodi Pico book will help you do that. Um, but 19 Minutes is a really, it's a good place to start. Um, next one up is fantasy. I know that's a little scary for a lot of people because fantasy books tend to be series and tend to be a little bit longer and kind of going through the world building and the different characters and the different names can be a little intimidating. So I t a lot of pe people tend to gravitate towards suggesting Harry Potter, which I'm not going to today, although I really do think that's a really great place to start. I, but I am going to give you another fantasy YA book to think about. So it's the Lunar Chronicles. It starts with um, Cinder. I don't know why I grabbed Cress, but that's okay. Um, Cinder is the first one. So these are by Marissa Meyer. Uh, they are fairy tale retellings. So Cinder follows kind of very loosely the story of Cinderella, um, except for in her books in the Lunar Chronicles, 
Cinder is a cyborg, so she has half robot, half human. Um, the world is still Earth. There's still recognizable continents and powers that be, so you can follow along with that really well. Her writing is really easy. Her characters, again, because they're fairy tale retellings, you kind of you come into it knowing a little bit more than if you go like true, um, especially adult fantasy. Um, so if you just want to get a taste of a good fantasy series, the series isn't super long. It reads pretty quick. I know this looks like a big book, but just the way it's um, formatted, it goes really fast. But it's a really great introduction introductory into the fantasy genre as well as kind of YA. So pick up the Lunar Chronicles. Um. Oh, I do have a lot of suggestions. Okay, if you're looking for just a good contemporary story um, that maybe has a little bit of controversy to it, um, I can't suggest Colleen Hoover enough. Um, just just give her books a try. They're awesome. They're awesome. I know there's some people out there that not are, that are not big fans, but I just love them all. One of my favorites by her is It Ends With Us, and this follows the story of Lily and Ryle and... They are totally in love, but Ryle is really not everything that he could be. He's very assertive, stubborn, and a little arrogant. He's also sensitive, brilliant, and has a total soft spot for Lily, but Ryle's complete aversion to relation to relationships is disturbing. Um, it's a tough book to read, I'm not going to lie, but it is a fantastic book to read. Absolutely pick that up. Um, the next one, of course, I can't record a video like this without suggesting historical fiction because that's just my favorite genre ever. And a really great way to get your feet wet within the historical fiction genre is to pick up a book that has dual timelines, that has a dual time perspective. So part of the book takes place present day and part of the book takes place in the past. I think that's a really good introduction to it because you're kind of going back and forth. Now some books out there can be quite confusing when you go back and forth. so. Highly, highly suggest picking up it ends or before we were yours by Lisa Wingate. This does have the dual time perspective, so we have what is her name? You know me and characters' names. It's not good. Um, so we have Memphis, 1939, um, and we follow Rill and her four younger siblings, and then we have present day with in Aiken, South Carolina, and Avery Stafford is who we follow. Um, and so this is this this is based on true events. Another really great book to pick up within the historical fiction realm is something based on true events because most likely you might know a little bit about it. This one I did not. This really centers around the um, Tennessee Children's Home Society where oh, this horrible woman named Georgia Tan um, kind of started the whole adoption movement but she did it in a very not great way. So she would literally steal kids and then adopt them to um, wealthy families. Um, so you can kind of see what happens here. We follow the story of four kids that end up within the Tennessee Children's Home Society. Um, and you're going back and forth between when that happened and then present day and trying to figure out how those two worlds collide. But it's a really great way to introduce yourself to historical fiction, yet still getting that kind of temp con maybe contemporary piece that you may enjoy. But easy to follow, really great story, pulls at your heartstrings and based on true events. So this is a really great start. My last suggestion would be psychological thriller books. There's a couple of them um, that I highly, highly suggest. Um, and one more because of the author. So Chevy Stevens does a really great job with psychological thrillers. I picked up Those Girls, which is probably my favorite book by her. I think this follows three sisters. Um, they grew up on a remote ranch in Western Canada. And one night something gets out of hand, some stuff happens, and they end up on the run. And it doesn't stop. It is action-packed. I love a psychological thriller that the action doesn't stop and keeps me guessing all of the time. If it's too predictable, I'm not a huge fan, and this is not predictable. So there's option number one. The next option I have for you is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris, another amazing psychological thriller. Um, this really centers around like here's the perfect couple they have everything they are beautiful they they are the couple that everybody wants to be but then you start learning what happens behind closed doors it's crazy again action-packed not super long but she there's so much packed into this book keeps you guessing 
lots of surprises it's great so lots of twists and turns is a really great way to start so both of these books are awesome thriller or psychological thriller genres if you want to get a taste for it and get started pick up one of those so those are my suggestions to kind of get you started within a genre that you may not be very familiar with or maybe it's a genre you've tried in the past and you didn't really like it these would be another one to kind of get your feet wet um, so make sure you head over to Sarah's channel over at Sarah's Nightstand link is below check out what she has what suggestions she has I'm always excited to see what she thinks um, otherwise like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and I will see you next time